Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I don't really have a long intro, basically. It's Wednesday, probably uploading this Wednesday or Thursday, I don't really know, depending on when I get it edited. Um, I look probably will look <laughs> very stiff because I slept wrong and my neck has been killing me all day, so I can't turn it or anything or it hurts really bad. And just make sure to give this a thumbs up because I'm gonna need it to go through the steps with you. This video is about a guy that broke my heart. It's not for me to get like everyone to throw a pity party for me because it's over. I don't even care about him anymore. I look at him and just wonder to myself why I ever liked him. I'm gonna come up with a name that is not his because I'd rather not everyone go and attack him or know who it is. So let's just call him Carter. Again, that is not his real name. His name starts with an A. It's not his real name. I don't remember how long ago this was. It was sometime in 2017. I just didn't really want to talk about it or talk about him. But now I'm to the point where I really don't care. Why not talk about it? Because I could help out other girls who were going through the same thing. Carter was not a good guy. He only liked one thing and he didn't even care about me. And eventually he even told that to me that he did not even care about me and that he wanted one thing. He told me that he's crazy, actually crazy. So we started talking, I think I followed him on Instagram and he followed back and then his Snapchat was in his bio and my Snapchat was in mine so he added me and then I was like, what? When he added me, I added him back and so I waited about a day and he didn't Snapchat me or anything. So I was like, why, not I, why don't I Snapchat him? So I Snapchatted him just saying streaks it was only to him, not to my streaks, because I wanted to start a conversation with him. So, we just sent streaks and then sent pictures back and forth of our faces. And so, um, the next day, I think, we started flirting and, like, he kept calling... Like, I started off and I was like, you're really cute, all this other stuff. And, girls, let the guy come to you. Don't start... Don't go to him because usually it turns out really bad. <laughs> Actually, it turned out good for me until he became... A completely different person well it was always him I just didn't see it we started flirting back and forth and then I told him I was like do you like bagels because you're bagels and then he just like sent a video and he was like oh like oh um, I don't know it was dumb but hey it got me him for some time until he became a jerk anyways that's beside the point I think it was the next day I told him that me and my friend were going to the mall if he wanted us to meet us if he wanted to meet us there and we could just hang out and get to know each other in person. But he was busy that day, so he couldn't meet us. So then the very first time we actually met, he came to my work. I work at Smoothie King and so he came to my work to see me. He didn't even get a smoothie. He just wanted to talk to me and stuff like that. And we got a picture together and which he wanted. He wanted a picture because um he was like we should get a picture to show everyone how cute we are and all this other stuff. There's that. Well, um, a week later, I went to Branson with my dad. So when we went, me and him were Snapchatting and it, we were getting more flirtatious and stuff like that. He asked me that if uh, whenever I got back from out of town, do I wanna go to the gym with him and then we can go grab a bite to eat afterwards. So of course, going through my mind, I was kind of freaking out. Because I have never actually been on a date before. It wasn't a date, but it was a step up, I guess. So, <laughs> just an awkward person. All of you know that. If you watch my videos, you know I'm really awkward. So, um, I tr kind of tried to come up with an excuse at first. And then I asked my mom if I could go. And she said, yeah. I hung out at the gym and all this other stuff. But I didn't work out at all. Because I was way too nervous and shy. But now I kind of got past that shyness, but watched him work out, I observed. And I even told him that. I was like, I'm just observing your hotness. I'm not even here to work out. And he was like, really, Megan? <laughs> and just laughed at me. At one point, he was like, you need to lift something. And I was like, are you, are you joking? Do you know me? No, I'm not lifting anything. And he was like, come on, just lay down on here. I'll spot you and all this other stuff. And he was like, it's just the bar. I won't even put any weights on it. So I was like, well, whatever. So I laid down on the bench and like I had it on my in my hands obviously. So like as I was lifting it was really easy and then he was like, "Here, let's put 25 pounds on it." And I was like, 
no, Carter, you are, you're joking. No, we're not doing this. And then he put one on and so I wasn't expecting it. So like when he put it on, I was like, whoa. And like, and so he put the other one on and then he still spotted me and just held it while I was, so basically he just helped a girl out, which it wasn't hard. I just wasn't expecting it. When he did that, he was like, well, I guess you could tell everyone you're lifting 25 pounds. No, it wasn't 25 pounds. Just kidding. I lied. It was 2.5 pounds. He said, I guess you could tell everyone that you're lifting 25 pounds and just say you didn't see the decimal. And I was like, very true. He was like, so where do you want to go to eat? And I said, Chick-fil-A. And he was like, said every white girl and stuff like that. And I was like, wow. So we went to Chick-fil-A and I put something of him on my story. And I think, I don't remember what I said. I think I said date in the caption or put hearts or something. While I was with him. By the way, he paid for my meal and everything. But while I was with him, a girl Snapchatted me. Like, she slid up on my story and was like, I hope you know your little boyfriend has other girls. What do you... Like, I didn't show Carter this at all. I was like, I'm not showing him this. It's probably just a rumor. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wait, what do you mean? He was like... Or she. She was like, not even five minutes ago, he, to he was trying to get back with his ex. He was with me five minutes ago. And the thing is, though, he was on his phone. So I didn't... I believed it, but I didn't. Later on, uh, a lot of people just started telling me bad things about him and all this other stuff. And so I kind of was like hurt about it because he had lied to me for so long. He just continued to lie to me, never told me the truth. And then at one point we got into it like big time. And I realized that he had like six other girls on the side. Yeah. Six other girls. I don't even know how guys can keep up with that many girls because I could barely handle him. Moral of the story, listen to everyone telling you that this is not a good guy because about probably like eight girls told me and he never, he has not, he had not apologized to me once. He had never apologized to me even when he finally told me that it was true. He had never apologized to me, never apologized for hurting me and I was pretty hurt about the whole thing. I kind of have a trust issue with guys just because of guys like him that exist in this world. And if you're watching this, Carter, and you know who you are, obviously, then no hard feelings. I still really, really don't like you, <laughs> but no hard feelings, right, buddy? <laughs> Anyways, forget that. He's still the same guy. He hasn't changed. I missed my school's whole football season just to go see him play even when we were done. I chased him for months after and my friends kept saying, Megan, you need to give up. You need to stop chasing him. He's not a good guy. And eventually I listened and now I just find him very unattractive because of his personality. Always follow your heart, except when it leads you to a bad guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and comment any heartbreaks you've had or any guys that have really messed with your mind. Um, yeah, make sure to subscribe. I'm sorry I haven't posted. I will try to continue, start up posting again. I got laid off because I've been expecting to do another music video to get that posted, but I haven't yet. So sorry guys, I will try to get a new music video to you soon. I love you so much and thank you so much for watching and sticking with me.